Jerusalem, Middle East. Winter is coming. Yosef huddles by the side of the street as he pulls his nourishment cart away from the main thoroughfare. The food traffic had been increasing these past few years due to the designation of these historic sites as food traffic only. Transport and delivery drones are not permitted within this area as these are the holiest site for the three monotheistic religions. After decades of constant tribal violence and after the enforcement of a peaceful coexistence brokered by the United Nations in the late 20th century, all is quiet in this corner of the Golden Levant. The presence of the Blue Helmets are no longer visible due to the peaceful conditions in Jerusalem prior to the formation of the UNE. The tribal conflicts came to a head with the dissolution of the many sheikdoms in this area. The 19th and 20th centuries were rocked with multiple tribal conflicts that took innocent lives due to collateral damage. The 21st century saw the attempt to move the region away from tribalism and into a people's representative government. Today, however, the mood is somber. The continued hostilities between the Palestinians of Arab descent and displaced European Jews are very much alive and overt. Previous attempts to reduce the tensions had mixed results. The suspicions continue. The UNE's continued presence in this area has somewhat managed to make life livable. However, as much as there is a need to coexist peacefully, there will always be elements in society that may not want the status quo. Yosef had always been a fixture at that intersection. He would offer his wares to passers-by. Most would refuse, but those that know him would gladly receive his offers and sometimes stop to converse with the old man. Today felt different, not to Yosef, but the usual retinue of passers-by. The cold nip in the air, the crisp morning frost. He huddles close to his car as another large group of commuters walks towards him. He smiles at them and slowly puts his hands in each of his thick, heat-insulated jacket. His smile continues as the gaggle of commuters gets closer. He suddenly sees the meadows, resplendent in all its summer colours and warmth. He looks down at his arm and is quite surprised as he feels the ooze of warm liquid flowing down his arm. He smiles again as he looks at the meadows. He is at peace. He feels light like a feather, floating. He looks down and sees this scene of destruction and carnage below him as the group of commuters are no longer, but instead replaced by carnage and destruction. Did I do this? It is done, signaled Abraham. 